Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? I know it has been a minute since I did a makeup video or actually wore makeup or anything, but we are going to play in makeup today. So uh, today's video, as you know from the title, is going to be the Tribe Beauty Box bag because it comes in legal bags now um, for the month of what, August, September, I think. I think it's August, September. Um, so with that, let's get started. Now, we're going to put makeup on as we go through this video um, as well to try some of these items out. Um, this is an Acne Pimple Master Patch, um, which I'm not going to open it, but I can try it because I do have a few, a lot of issues in my eating area. So we will try that out. Um, the next item we are going to look at, and there's five items in this box this month. For those of you that do not know, Tri Beauty Box is a bi monthly box or box you get every other month. Um, so I think I said that correctly. I don't know, probably not. But you get it every other month. It is $34.99 um, a month plus tax. I don't remember how much tax is, but I do like the fact that this is a bag you receive every other month. Now, once this subscription is over, I am going to take a break. Um, and I might be taking a break from all of my boxes, but I will do videos uh, playing and makeup and stuff, which I know I have so much um we'll just see how things go i don't know can't make any promises but we'll see how things go so the next item is going to be this is from jabani oh jesus jabonaria marianella i don't know how to say it y'all know me it's oak moss and coconut golden oil with argan marula pomegranate um pomegranate and grapeseed oil this is a two floor um ounces and that's just what that looks like um the pimple stuff that retails for six dollars this is gonna be us six dollars this um here retails for 36 dollars and it's a body shimmering oil and this says shake well before using and you can get this out um it's done in uh new york according to this Okay, but it smells so good, like tropical fruity, it really does. So, that is that item. Then we have two brushes that we received, and these brushes uh, retails for, oh gosh. So, the 660 brush, which is the Precision Foundation Brush, and we're going to use this as a foundation brush today. And this retails for $23. And this is from uh, Luxie Beauty. I do like Luxie brushes. And the other brush is going to be this dual fiber powder brush, which retails for $25. And um, we're going to use this for powder also. And this is $5.16. And I like the fact that we actually got two brushes this month. Or actually two brushes all together and it's classified as one item so technically we got six items in this box um, the next item is going to be from Wonder Beauty and this is a, a double date lip and cheek um, concoction uh, uh, item this retails for $22 and I should have took this off but I need to think about it and I was almost happy that I had everything together today okay we're just going to take the box open and just make it a lot easier for us guys is this going to make it a lot easier because tearing it open don't seem like it's making it any easier oh lord okay okay oh okay see most of the time when they're like oh eyes lip cheeks it's one item but this is actually two different items which I'm confused about double D hold on see how to tore up the damn box now I got to take it out and try to read it excuse the language guys okay it says how to use uh Lord tap and blend with fingertips or brush onto lips and cheek for hydration for hydration and buildable color. A multitasking 
tinted and clear balm for hydrated lips and cheeks. The tinted balm blends seamlessly into skin for a, new, a natural finish. The universal clear balm coats lips and cheeks comfortably for a moistured feel. Okay. Okay. Um, so you get this cute little pink color here. And then if you open it, that is the clear color here. And it does have a mirror on that side. So this is cute. And like I said, most of the time it's one container, but this is cute. So we're going to use this today too. And last but not least, we had a choice between the Nomad Cosmetics uh, Lake Como Palette. And this retails for $27. And then you could have gotten the Glam Light Cosmetics Caliente um, Palette, which retails for $38. I, as you see, chose the Nomad um, Cosmetics Palette. And I also chose another palette from Nomad uh, this, this month as well. I think I have the Caliente palette. If I don't have it, I did have it. And I, and I gifted it away. Um, which is why I didn't choose that one again. Um, okay, now let's see if we can open this one without tearing up the box. Let us see. We can't make any promises, guys. We can't make any. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. We got it, we got it, we got it. I don't even know why do you feel like that? Okay, now this is a a beautiful palette. So that is what it looks like, which is the same thing on the um, outer box of it. But the colors in here is just beautiful as you see it is a nine pan palette um and does have a nice mirror let's swatch some of these we're not going to swatch because we're going to use some of these colors let's do that so we are going to i gotta be thinking about my brushes do i have a new set Guys, I'm not trying to get up. I'm not trying to get up. Okay. Um, I will be right back, and I'll probably figure out what I'm going to do, and then come back and do whatever look I did on camera. So, give me one second. I want to get brand new brushes to use with this. Okay, guys. So, uh, this eye look sucks, but we're going to use less colors and do a little different on the next eye. But what I can say is that the pigmentation of this palette is really really nice um let me come a little closer so that you guys can see so uh this is a beautiful shimmer color as you see that is that beautiful green that is a navy blue and i took the light blue and put it around we'll see exactly what it looks like once i do the rest of my face um but yeah this is a hot mess but it's okay because y'all know my first time with a palette really sucks so we're just going to go with it okay we're just going to go with it um, and we are using the Moda brushes um, for this. I have not used this yet. And I purchased them more because they just overly cheap um, with the Boxy Charm box, you know, sales they have. But this is the Moda Pro by Royal and Lang Nickel. It's a five piece deluxe eye brush. And I really do like it so far. Um, so, with that being said, let's move on to the next eye. Okay. Now, we do want to use the green again, um, but we won't add so much of the other colors to it. How about, how, about, how, about that? how about that? Okay, now let's see what we can come up with and go from there. So, with that being said, we're going to go in with the green color. And just kind of put this in the crease area. This is sweet. You know, I've been having a thing for green, but I do think that this is a beautiful color. Now I know I said I was gonna leave some colors alone, but I may take like take this uh, 
golden, uh, not golden, Lord, this burgundy and put it on as well. But we'll see. And it's really dark, not burgundy, Lord, this dark blue color. Um, it's really dark. So it might be okay on the outer portion of my eye, but we will see. But you see the pigmentation is really nice. Uh, this color is La Dos Beta. And as you see, it is buildable also, but if you keep blending, it does blend out well too. So I think that it's a beautiful green. A beautiful green. Okay. All right. Now let's dip a little in the blue. Take some off and just dab it here. We don't want to do too much. Just to kind of deepen it on the outside. There you go, just a little, just, just a little, like a tad bit, because this is a pigmented palette, pigmented palette, pigmented palette. I don't know if I said that right, but it, it, it will start looking goopy, like here, and we're trying not to go that route, and I probably should have put this down first, but that's okay. Um, let's use a little color switch. So we can go back into uh, this green again. Just to make sure we don't you lose the green. And we're not going to really try to go too much towards the blue because we do not want to disturb it and drag it in with the green. We want it to have, you know, you can see two distinct colors. So, okay. I'm actually liking that. All right. So we are going to use a shimmer color. And we're going to go with Pap uh, Paparazzo, which is a... Hmm, are we going to do Paparazzo? We are. It's going to be a green shimmer color. Or maybe the same shimmer here. No, we're going to go with this green shimmer. Um, but this beautiful shimmer color... Here is what is on this inside of my eye here, which I do like it. It is a multi-shimmer color. It's just, it's different shimmer colors. Y'all don't judge me, okay? Because I will come up with a word. It's not dual chromey, I don't think. Actually, it is dual chrome. Okay, dual chrome. Y'all don't judge me, okay? This is the shade brush, which we are going to use. Um, and go in with this and it lays real nice without spraying your brush and I do like that which means it would probably do awesome as well if you use your finger but you know with my nails I just can't and with my fingers I mean I do have um, medium sized fingers so I can take over a whole eye was just using my finger and I don't want to do that but now I do like this eye look and it's more so with my eye shape my eye looks look weird to me and it's, I mean, it could look weird to y'all too. I don't know. But just to me, it does. But the way it goes, it's just weird. But with that being said, regardless, I do like this eye look here. See, number two, just great. Just great. Um, I like this palette. I really do. I think the pigmentation is nice. And I really do like this palette. Um, so, yeah, we're going to still keep this, 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 this mess one here. Um, but we're going to also, let's... Let's see. We're going to use the smudger brush here. And 
see what it looks like putting something under the bottom. Now I did use a base on my eyes, um, my eyelid. Now, I don't know if this blue is actually going to go with it, but we just want to show you guys what the blue looks like. And I think that this is a beautiful blue when it's packed on. Even though I'm not really packing on, packing on, but I'm not blowing it out or diffusing like I did around here. I mean, it still looks muddy, but this is the blue here. And I'm, uh, and this is Aquarama, which is this color here, which we're putting at the bottom, which I probably should wait to do that. Okay, so that is it. Ignore this eye, pay attention to this eye, and call it a day. Okay, so let's go on to the next item. Uh, oh, we're going to do our face. So we're going to use this Clinique. I do not know if it is my shade or not, but we're going to use it because we have it. One day I'm going to sit down and go through my shades all over again and toss away the ones that do not work for my complexion. But that won't be done today. So we're going to use the... Precision, yes, foundation brush. I don't know what precision foundation brush means, so we're going to use it to do our whole face, and hopefully it works. Well, she needs to be cut off. Um, I don't know why I just saw a bubble. A bubble. I don't know why I just saw a bubble. We're going to use it anyway. Don't judge me too much, guys. Okay, so I am going to start the application. We'll probably turn it off and come back with you guys because I don't want this to be too long. Too long. Okay, so let us see what this brush is supposed to do. Okay, actually, it does not look too bad shade-wise. Maybe because it is this light. Okay, guys, uh, y'all know how my phone goes. So it did, uh, you know, space. So I had to go and delete something off. Um, but yeah, I do like this brush. I like that it's still, um, it's not so stiff and compact. And um, I like the fluffiness of it to use it on foundation, honestly. It's not like this one here, which is more so of a paint brush to me, um, which is okay. But to get a, and I still feel like it, feels and it might be the moisturizer that I use because I did use this as my moisturizer and primer today and this is the pretty filter glassy skin balm um of why my face feels the way it does because right now my face actually does look dewy um but this is not a matte foundation anything like this or anything like that but I do like the actual color of this foundation for me, it could be off probably, especially if I go to my chest area, but it does not do too bad when it goes to my neck area. Guys, I am just rambling on and on and on, but I do like it. I do like it. I'm trying to learn to not take 175 years doing my makeup, but I do like that brush there. So let's use the other brush for, um, oh, hold on, didn't even do too much under our eye and I really don't even want to do too much so oh see I know I had something I'm not going to really go too too far under my eye because y'all know I am putting eyeshadow under there so I just don't need all of that stuff at least to me I'm probably wrong <laughs> probably wrong but I don't also I'm not really into um doing eyeliner too much right now um so any more eyeliners i get i probably am going to pass that along um and i'm putting more here so that i can uh, make sure i color up the excess colors because these are bright bright colors and i'm just really i'm really trying to see if we can make this eye look look a little better without it being so all over the place if that is possible Probably not, but you know, we can, we can, we can, we can try. We can try. I don't even know why I'm using this little blender here, but we're just going to go with it because we did. 
and we're going to try not to do too much to cover up the blue that we did add. Okay, that's not bad at all. Now, I don't know if blue was something that I would really use under my eye um, because I don't really, I'm not really liking it too much. I don't know, it could just be me. Y'all know I'm just overly uh, critical when it comes to myself and life, period. I, I don't mean to be, but I honestly just can't help it. Okay, so let's use this powder brush to see how it is. We're going to use this, what's that? Um, what is this? Cover FX and shoot. Is it the brush? Is this how it's supposed to be? I don't know. Is it powdering? Well, I think there's powder on it. It's just hard to see because it's so spread it. But you actually can see it. You can see it. It's just me. You know, I'm just kind of extra. And actually, if I don't go so far up under my eye, and I guess if I do use, um, if I decide to put powder under not powder, eyeshadow under my eyes because my eyes has a little fold in it a little bit and that's just how my eye is. Um, I like how it looks. Not my skin right now, but in general, I like how it looks. Okay, I'm not really excited about this, but it, it's okay. It's okay. I like a fluffy brush, to be honest, for a, a powder. So maybe I'm using this wrong. If I am, y'all let me know down in the description box if I'm using that completely wrong. Completely wrong. Because right, right now, I don't know. So let us go ahead and actually powder powder the rest of our face. Because, like I said, right now, my face is looking very dewy. And I don't like it to be the first initial look. Because I have combination skin and in my T-zone area, I do um, get oily. So, I do not like the container of this. I like the powder, but the container, and I don't fold it or, or shake it or anything, but it's like, it just gets all over the place, and it is so messy. So messy. Okay. Um, oh, I but I think we used everything, but we did not. So, I'm going to, I'll contour after we use this. Oh gosh. Let's let's try this brush here. This is an angle contour brush, but we're gonna use this right here on this product to see what it looks like on our Jeep. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm probably doing a little bit too much, but not too bad. Now I don't know. And I'll cover what I need with the contour. I'm not really sure how to use cream products. Like, do you set it? And if you set it, you set it with a um, translucent powder. I'm going to try to set it with the translucent powder because I don't know what else to do with it. But, um, and hopefully that is okay. But I do like this. I think that this is a beautiful color. And with it being... Um, you know, you can just diffuse it. You can blend it out so it won't be so bright and in your eye or in your face. Now, I don't know if it's moving because I did put powder down. I don't know that, but you probably can stipple it on as well. Um, I can say that it is not transferring on here when I dipped again, and I do like that. I mean, like the foundation-wise, it's still uh, this beautiful pinky color. So I do like that a lot okay i like this product i like it i like it all right all right now 
I'm trying to figure else, figure out what else. So let us just throw some of this on. Now I don't think that this is supposed to go on top of a cream product. Um, but we're doing it today. And y'all let me know what this look like because I feel like it looks it's starting to look a little muddy only because I know it's me putting it on top of the cream product. But we're gonna make it work because we're not about to do this video again. Okay? We're just not gonna do it. We're just not gonna do it. I'm also learning that. Well, I'm probably using the wrong sheet any darn way. <laughs> oh, Lord. I probably am using the wrong shade anyway. But that is okay. That is okay. Because I know I feel like I'm dark skin anyway. Or the darker. Um... Okay. At this point, we're just, we're, we're where we're at. We're, we're where we're at. I don't even know what I look like. I feel like I'm looking a little clownish. <laughs> but we're going to be okay. We're going to accept it today. Okay? We are going to accept it today. I do like this, Clinique. Uh, this is in the 17 Silk uh, Cinnamon. And this has SPF 15 in it, which I know is not a lot. But it's something. And you use it on top of your regular SPF, I guess, would be okay and to work. Now, let us try to put some color back into our face because I feel like I kind of overdid it with the blush. Um, oh, I do like that. Now, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but I do like it, okay? I do like it. Because you can still see the pink, the pinkiness on it. It's just not shiny. Y'all let me know if I did that right or wrong. Because I'm pretty sure I did it wrong. But we just gonna, we just like I said, we just gonna let it be great. We just gonna let it be great. Also, I think I go too far with my contour. But I'm not sure. I, I Well, I should have contoured first. But this is where we at. And let's put some on our forehead so that we can have some mention a little bit because right now you look like one color i think my child and my daddy is back home i think so okay all right i like this better i like this feet better but that is it guys for this video i really do like all the products that i tried out and it's very seldom I like all the products in a box. I am really surprised with this. Like, I really am surprised with that. Um, let us put something on our lips. Get my baby some. All right, baby. I want nothing to bright. Hurry up and go party for your PFP self. I don't want anything too bright on my lips because my eyes already make the statement of its own. I love this palette. I really do. I really do. Um, you okay? Yeah. It hurt? You can't hold your pee that long, baby. It's not good on your bladder. Um, sorry, guys. I know it's a lot. Um, but that is it, guys. Uh, y'all yeah, let me know what y'all think about this box this month. I really do like this box this month. I think I get one more, and then we'll go from there to figure out if I will continue getting this box or not. Um, I will continue to stay on the list, um, getting emails so that I'll know if I want to get it or not. But thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and let me know down below um, what you think about this box. What is your favorite item or product? And until the next video, I will talk to you beautifully different, lovely people later. Love you guys. Bye.